Hello. Today we'll start lesson two. We're using the Mayim book, the Mayim primer. And last week we learned two letters. We learned Gimel, we learned Lamed, and we learned a vowel, which is a vertical or a horizontal line. It's called the Patach. I was watching Michael Murdoch on TV one time. And he hit, said something, I thought, wow, this is something that we can apply to learning languages. He said, you can get anywhere you want if you're willing to take enough little steps to get there. So think about that. Hebrew may seem unachievable, but you can climb that mountain. So let's start with a little prayer. Dear Lord, we just Thank you for this chance to learn the Hebrew language. We just pray that you would help us to learn and remember the things that are being taught here today and help us to accomplish our goals with Hebrew. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So with lesson two, We will plunge ahead boldly and learn a letter called Dalit. You can have a little loop in your Dalit, in a script Dalit. The block Dalit has a little bit of an overlap here for structural purposes so it won't fall apart. Remember to, to do that if you happen to be writing block Hebrew. The Dalit goes D. Dalit goes D. And we'll learn a new vowel too. First of all, let's write a dalit or two. We're going to write dalit across the page a little bit. D. 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 So practice the dalit, just like you did in your first grade class when you were learning the English alphabet. So now we're going to learn a vowel to, to go with it. We take a dalit and we put a vowel like that, which goes ah. Last week we learned the patach that goes ah. Now we learn the comets, which goes ah. The comments goes ah. A word, dal. Excuse me, I was going to learn. We we're going to do dog first. Excuse me. Dog. Dog means fish. Great word, dog, fish. Write it a few times, dog. Dog, dog. Write it, say it, get used to it. The next word we'll learn is dal. Dal means poor. Dal. Write it, say it, and we can put the two together. Dag. 
Dagdal. Poor fish. Dagdal. Is it a sentence? Well, kind of. Dagdal. You poor fish, you. Dagdal. We're going to move on to our next letter. Next we will learn the letter bet. The script looks kind of like the beak of a bird. It's got a dot in it. Bet. The block is made with two strokes. It has the dot. It bet makes the sound of b. B. Write a few of them. We go. B. 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 The letter bet. How about a word? Bad. Bad means cloth. This is what? Bad. Bad means cloth. Bad. Sounds kind of like uh, a slang word for the body. People would say, Oh, I got up this morning and my bod is aching. At least we used to say that. Well, the Hebrew word for body is goof. And you can add a suffix to it to say my body, it's goofy. Isn't Hebrew great? So, next we will just have a suffix. If we go ba, and then we add a word there, it means in the. Ba means in the. You might say in the wave. We've had that word in the wave. Bagal. Bagal. In the wave. Okay, so let's practice. Practice writing. Write Hebrew. Talk to yourself while you write. Write it. Say it. It works. We have a song. We're going to put a song in here. It's called Sadiq Katamar. It's Psalm 92 12, which says, The, the righteous will flourish. Flourish like a palm tree. You will grow like the cedars of Lebanon. Tzadik katamar ifrach ifrach. Tzadik katamar ifrach. Ke'eres balivnon iske. Ke'eres balivnon iske. Ke'eres balivnon iske. We have a group from Hungary that sings this. They're called Sabbath Song. I think these people are a lot of fun. They're a klezmer band from Hungary. So we'll give you the words to that. When you go to do homework, if you're using the book, feel free to copy pages with have the exercise on them. Go ahead and copy the pages and do them on a piece of paper if you want instead of writing in the book. I bought the rights to the Mayim materials and I'm granting you permission to make those copies. So, for today, look at pages two and three. We have, on page two, we have some expressions. Please, bavakasha, just practice saying it. Please is bavakasha. Big or large is gadol. Small is katan. Honey, devash. Country, land, soil is eretz. And these last few 
you'll be able to write them out in different ways. Dag, you'll want to see, say what it means, write it in Hebrew letters. And the word needy, poor, or weak, write what it sounds like, write it in Hebrew letters. Bad, write what it means, write it in Hebrew letters. And then ba, ba what it means and what it sounds like. Write that out. And page four needs some explanation. We want to do the exercises on page four, but there's one exercise on one side of the page, one, another exercise on the other side of the page, and they're completely different exercises. They should be divided. On the right, we're going from Hebrew to English. Hebrew to English. On the left, we're going to take English words and write them in Hebrew. And that will be our homework for this week, plus lesson two of Pimsleur Hebrew. Work your way through it. You can do it every day. You can learn this language. Pimsleur will be really helpful in helping you to do that. Thank you. I'll see you next week.